So first, uh, usually again, the person has to um, take anti-nausea medicine before actually drinking the end of life medication. This is because the medication is uh, not great tasting and people have uh, vomited in the past. So we try to give them anti-nausea medicine about an hour before you take the actual end of life medication. So they take that and then usually in an hour or so, I mean, it's, it's, it's gray. You can wait a little bit longer, but it should be about an hour. Then you have a powder, which that's the end of life medication and you mix it with three ounces of fluid. Once it's mixed, you should quickly drink it. So it is something that you, once you decide on the day and the time, you kind of have to do it. Once you mix it, you should drink it pretty quickly. Um, I have been told and I've witnessed that it does taste pretty bad, uh, but they don't like you to chase it with anything too much just because of the um, vomiting issue. So most people will take a little bit of jello or a little bit of ice cream or sorbet or something just to minimize the bad taste. They drink that medication when they're ready and in three to seven minutes ish, from my experience, the person will fall asleep. And I mean deep sleep. They will basically go unconscious. No struggling, they never show pain. And then within three to seven minutes, they usually will start going into the actively dying phase of death. 